Six, what is the product of the following reaction? So we have a pi bond and we have hydrochloric acid. So we know that pi bonds can act as nucleophiles. This will go ahead and protonate and we'll kick that chlorine off. So let's draw the first intermediate and we will have a secondary carbocation. When we have a secondary carbocation that is adjacent to a tertiary or quaternary carbon, we know that there's going to be some kind of carbocation rearrangement. Typically, this is going to be a hydride shift or a methanide shift, but this is a very specific and interesting situation where we can actually get the rearrangement of an entire ring because we know that going from a five-membered ring to a six-membered ring is very energetically favorable because the six-membered ring is the most stable ring possible. It allows for every carbon to be perfectly tetrahedral, sp 309.5 degree bond angles. So the best situation in terms of carbocation rearrangement is for this bond right here to open up and attack that carbon to produce a six-membered ring. And we will have the methyl group here, and then we will have another methyl there. We will have a positive charge up here. So what we did is this carbon is now attached to this carbon. That is this one and this one. And then this bond here is this one right there. And then this carbon lost a bond when this bond rearranged. So that is why we now have the positive charge right there. So this is our second intermediate after carbocation rearrangement. And now we have chloride in solution. Chloride is going to go ahead and attack that carbocation. And so that's going to give us A right there. So there's a few different options here in terms of the answers. And so C and D are testing if we understood that that rearrangement was going to result in the formation of a six-membered ring. And so A and B look like they're good because of six-membered rings, but B does not look as good because we clearly have lost a methyl group. So that's why B does not work. But once again, we started out with this pi bond, interacted with the proton, kicked off the chloride. So we were left with a secondary carbocation. So we knew that there was going to be carbocation rearrangement. And it turns out in this situation, the best rearrangement possible was for this carbon-carbon bond in the five-membered ring to swing out and attack that carbocation, producing a six-membered ring and leaving a carbocation over here for chloride to attack and produce the product. So that would be the answer there.